Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can fix double movement. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that has this bug where double movement doesn't work or it pops up an error saying uh, player 1 or port 1 or something like that. But in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's quite an easy fix so you don't have to worry about it. But before we start, can you guys please leave a like and subscribe and try to get a thousand subscribers before my birthday which is the 15th of June. And if we get a thousand subscribers before my birthday I will do a face reveal. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to a link in the description which will take you to within double movement. And there is the keyboard which is probably way better with double movement, but lucky for us they made a software called within uh, keyboard. So the easy thing is you all you have to do is you want to download uh, you want to download it. I already downloaded it so I'm just gonna leave that. It's probably gonna ask you to install a virtual bus or something like that. Just say allow and install it. It's quite easy, you just need to do it otherwise it won't work. So the first thing you want to do is, after you install it, is you want to open it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, you want to go to your settings and then you want to say log input method as mouse, you want to turn that on. And after you turn log input method on, you want to remove all your movement bytes which I already did in my case and after you did that you want to go into a match and I'll show you the error that most players get when they try to launch this program and uh, I will show you how to fix it afterwards now you guys can see that I have the double movement open and I have removed my all my movement binds and have locking method as mouse on uh, if you guys don't use uh, WASD then you can only change you can only change it here you can also adjust your angle if you really want to, but let's go into it. And there is the error that most people will get or I would get if you have a controller. So the easy way to fix this is just want to disable this, plug out your controller. Then you guys have to just disable and enable the game and see, there you guys, there you go, it works. Now, I'm personally to 65. Uh, percent well you can just change it to higher or lower it really doesn't matter just prove that it works is uh, let's go to the low setting there's like no angle just straight up line um but i personally choose 65 you can change it as well if you want to it really doesn't matter um now two reasons why you want to use double movement rather than just the default movement is it is way advanced and way better than Way better than you think. It's actually very useful, but like there's actually people missing these shots, not because they're in the bad actually because they missed everything. Because of the movement. So it's way harder to get you. And it's easier to nav navigate through areas which I really didn't realize it is. For instance if I gonna bolt a few things here. For instance if here's a tunnel it's easier to move around, navigate like that easily so it's easy just to move around in areas especially in uh, hectic end games where everybody's just tunneling and then and you want to go look back for a bit and you can go like and also for peanut butter edits is actually quite useful because it's way quicker than normal finds you duck way easier and you know, it your head way less. I'm not gonna lie, side job is also easier to do. By the way, I just came on, so I don't judge my skill at all. As you guys can see, control movement is like way underrated, I would say, in my opinion. And does this app give you input delay honestly i really don't think it does because as you guys can see my input delay is between five six seven ish and that's just exactly the same input i get without the software um but i don't think this is like gp input delay i don't think it's actually input delay so i don't think that's nice but as you guys can see movement is way easier and people who mostly gonna miss the shots, side kicks, way easier to do. And yeah. 
Okay, if you guys want to decide to mid game change your input, all you have to do is just enable fucking put me for mouse again. Oh crap, I forgot. All you want to do is you want to uh, put off lock input in for those mouse and then what you want to do is you want to first disable the app by pressing that then you can plug in your controller again and everything should be, be working fine thank you guys for watching this video please leave a like and subscribe with notifications on remember if you get a thousand subscribers before the 15th of June I'm gonna do a face reveal so please subscribe but with that out of the way enjoy the rest of your day